inserting a nasal gastric tube. If a small baby cannot feed enough by mouth, a feeding tube is needed. This video shows how to determine if a feeding tube is needed and how to safely insert one. Tube feeding should be used for a baby who cannot feed well by mouth. A baby may be unable to swallow without choking or he's not getting enough milk as seen by poor weight gain or infrequent urine and stools. In a small baby, it's best to pass the tube through the baby's nose, not the mouth. A tube in the mouth may interfere with feeding progress and may be dislodged more easily. The tube is passed through the nose, down the back of the throat, and into the stomach. Take the time to talk with the mother about the procedure and the need for it. We assure her that this is safe and will not hurt her baby. To start, gather the nasal gastric tube, a 5 ml syringe, a feeding syringe, a marker, and tape. A five or six French gastric tube is best for a small baby. Wash your hands well with soap and water. Next, measure the length of tube to be inserted. It goes from the tip of the nose to the earlobe to a point halfway between the tip of the breastbone and the umbilicus. Now, Put the end of the tube on the tip of the baby's nose. Stretch it to the earlobe, then to a point halfway between the tip of the breastbone and the umbilicus. Mark the length. Lubricate the tip with expressed milk to ease the passage of the tube. Hold the baby's head still and flex his neck forward slightly. Gently insert the tube through the baby's nostril slowly and steadily. Aim to the back of the head until you've reached your mark. The tube is uncomfortable for the baby as it's inserted but painless once it's in place. Now tape the tube, keeping your mark visible. Never force the tube. If it doesn't slide easily, stop and try the other nostril. Very rarely, the tube may try to go into the trachea leading to the lungs. This is rare but serious. A feeding that goes into the lungs can possibly be fatal. Now, check for correct placement. Connect the syringe to the tube. Pull back on the syringe and look for small amounts of digested milk or gastric fluid in the tube. If there is no fluid in the tube, Remove it and repeat the procedure. Tape the tube securely once you've confirmed that it's in the right place. Be sure the tape sticks to the tube to avoid it sliding around beneath the tape. Your mark should be visible near the nose. Here's an alternate taping method. 
The tape keeps the tube secure without pulling on the nostril. Note that the mark is left visible to easily check for placement before each feed. Tubes are usually replaced every seven days, alternating between nostrils. To remove the tube, pinch it closed and pull it out quickly. Have a suction device available to remove excess mucus from the nose if needed. Remember, measure the tube from nose to earlobe to a point halfway between the tip of the breastbone and the umbilicus. Confirm placement by pulling back on the syringe to find small amounts of digested milk or gastric fluid. Tape the tube securely, leaving the mark visible near the nose.